welcome back guys to Bernard Crossover. More about basketball, more about Jeff. We're here still, JR. It's gonna be fun today. We're gonna be talking more about Jeff and Open Gym actually. Mm -hmm. So we got JR. Tell us a little bit, you know, get us some questions, some yeah. fire questions I mean, we can ask him. Open Gym is one of the most interesting documentaries out there, especially covering for the Toronto Raptors, our own very own Toronto Raptors. So I know, Jeff, you talked about how you were working for Raptors TV back then, and then this led to a job, another job here and there, other shows. But now this led to Open Gym. How was that? How did that come about? Probably two years before. Uh, we're in our seventh season now, so nine years ago, which is unreal. Mm -hmm. um, I started doing a lot of uh, you know behind the scenes stuff. So behind the draft, behind the draft, I had been doing a few years prior, uh, and we had done three, two or three years in a row, a, a all access training camp special, uh, similar to what like twenty four seven the hockey twenty four seven would do, yeah. uh, and they would spend that like small amount of time with the team and, and do whatever and, and and do whatever stories that you could in that in that time, and we were able to gain access. So. I had been doing already like a lot of behind the scenes stuff and, and start started building a trust with the organization. Mm -hmm. So with the coaching staff, with the front office uh, and with the players. At the time, the players, they're all they're all older. The Jose Calderones, the Andrea Bargnani's and, and Anthony Parker's and all that. They were, they were a lot older. So th there wasn't that connection and that 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 comfortableness and that level of trust that was mm -hmm. built right away. Um, the trust was with the organization. So prior to uh, the first season of Open Gym, we decided to pitch the show to the team. So every pre every preseason, there's a broadcasting meeting, and you have a rep from the Raptors broadcast and the network and the marketing department, and, and we were there, and I had my whole deck ready to pitch a, a all-access show to do for the entire season. Um, and Brian Colangelo was the GM at the time, and and we were talking. They were going through all the other elements of of, of the broadcast, and and finally he was just like standing there. He's like, you know what? I I, I I really think would be good to do would would be to do an association type of show on the Raptors, mm -hmm. and the association was the NBA's version of Open Gym yeah. uh, before Open Gym, and we were all like, we all looked at each other like, well. We, we had it all prepared already, so he, he, he was on board from jump. Uh, and at the time, um, the team was still trying to find its identity. This is um, DeMar's, I believe, third year, Kyle's first year in, Jose's, uh, Jose, Jonas is a rookie, uh, Casey's second year. So it's an opportunity to, 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 the team was just on the cusp of kind of becoming relevant and almost becoming, you know, a playoff team. So it was a perfect time. It was uh, it was after the lockout year, and um, you know, ever since then, it's just we have been part of the entire process. So Colangelo leaves, Masai comes in. Masai was on board. The association had done the previous year uh, a Denver um, association, so he was already comfortable with the fact with like cameras oh, and behind the scenes yeah. stuff. So when he came 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 into the, became the, the general manager uh, he was on board coach was always was was on board um, and then the team every young player that came into the into the mix the first people they would see is us so right <laughs> off the bat the, the, there's the comfort level that and the trust that um, that starts and, and is nurtured and and that's the biggest reason why I believe the show has become successful and has been able to sustain um, is the trust factor. Mm -hmm. uh, they trust what we do. They understand that we're not here to like expose and give trade secrets and 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 and, and kind of paint the team in a bad light. We're just here to tell stories and tell the and tell the, the, the journey of the of the Toronto Raptors and and all the guys and all the players. They they love it. They love um, being able to to see all the the moments captured and mm -hmm. and and everything from you know their 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 workouts that you don't see to their their family time and and just all sorts of all sorts of moments throughout their their NBA season. The 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 trust has been built and 
and um, you know we've been we've been going seven years strong now, so yeah. it's it's an amazing feat. Yeah. 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 And Open Gym is like, yeah, it's a, my favorite one, a documentary out there. I know you guys transitioned from, well, not really transitioned, but you, you guys stayed away a little bit from just being that behind the scenes every single game, but towards to behind the scenes every single game plus stories here and there. Because there's one recently with Danny Green where they had a day to spend at the, at the reptile places. But we'll, what's it like going through every single player? finding each stories and trying to mix and match with like during the games and during the whole season basically the, the so the way we um like to, to tell the stories we use the season and the schedule as the spine of the 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 story so whatever game is going in in that in that episode that's where we branch off into our different plot lines um so we try to um you know look a couple weeks out and, and see all the there's so many intriguing things about this team and about the players and and um, just being around the guys and the more you get to know them and the more research you do and 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 even just being around them on the road like things just happen and and for us it, it we always uh, within the crew we have a running joke that that um, th like things just happen and we don't you know we don't plan it that's the that's always has always been the the best content has always come when we don't plan anything and we just let the story develop and and kind of just unfold itself and, and we're just there to capture it and and that's why we're i feel like we they've been so the guys have been so comfortable with us is because we don't tell them to do we need to do this or let's go here yeah. to do this cool thing or let's let's try you know what i mean we, we we just we just we just point the camera we just tell their story um and we let the players be the heart of the the, the narrative be you know and, basically. and 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 the, the, the biggest thing too for me when we established the show and how we were going to tell these stories is i didn't want to do uh, a narration i didn't want to do i didn't want to have a writer because i want the players to tell the stories and i don't want the 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 stories to be formulaic and 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 almost scripted and driven by by you know a, a writer so you know it you know there there are pros and cons with with that, but um, you know I feel like there's a little bit of there's more soul to it mm -hmm. in, in the way we we kind of kind of tell tell our stories. And I feel that you might have watched a couple of seasons. Uh, the authenticity it feels authentic. Every player you can you can relate to them or you can kind of you know see them in a different way, aside from just being a basketball player. But I want to know a little bit about you. What are some of the favorite stories that you kind of uh, uncovered from you know the past few seasons of any player so far? Um, uh, Delon, we did a piece on Delon uh, uh, last year. Um, he had, it was, we, we ended up, <laughs> we were going to practice. We were in San Fran. Uh, we we're going to play Golden State the next day. We're, we're, ended, we're going to practice. And I found out on the bus ride there that we were going to Delon's junior college. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> we're going, we're, this is where like it started for him. He was having trouble with grades in high school, and he was able to go to junior college and 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 get kind of get his act together. And then he went on to Utah, uh, and then obviously he had a great career in in Utah those two years. But um, just being able to go there and then talk to his old coaches and talk to talk to him about you know being back there, seeing where it all started. Uh, just stories like that. Um, last year we did the, the we were we we captured CJ's the birth of his child, that was amazing, um, yeah. which is my all-time favorite episode. Uh, there's just so many moments. Rudy being traded. We were in the locker room when it all happened. Yeah. Um, after the after everything kind of like <laughs> happened, me and Rocky, the cameraman, we looked at each other. We're like, yo. The, it just feels like I broke up with my girl right now because we were so <laughs> emotional that night. Mm -hmm. um, and like everything with Damar and, and Kyle, we've had, we, we were in Philly the day Kyle was announced as an all-star for the first time as an all-star starter. We were in Philadelphia in, in his house. house with his family, with all his teammates when on a Thursday night when TNT announced the stars for the all-star game. Like, how can you like script it better than that? And no one did. You know, and no one scripted it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. Like, countless moments um, over the last seven years have, have um, 
uh, really just stuck out and something that will not only the players will be able to kind of relive through the show like 10, 15 years from now, but I'm going to be able to kind of on the personal level and the selfish level, I'm going to be able to just like look back and be like, yo, there's like with this team being so successful over the last like five or so years, like mm -hmm. I've been like right there with, with like all the things that's happened so far. And, it's kind of and, part of it. <laughs> part of it. Some people say, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's really, it's really crazy to think, to think about it. Well, what are some of your uh, future goals with Open Gym? Um, you know, this is the seventh season, season and yeah. you guys are going to still keep going. We're going to keep going until you yeah. tell us to stop, and, and we want to cover, the sh we want to shoot the champagne back. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. want to be in the <laughs> locker room with, that, with our well. camera covered in plastic, and us just be like, it's, it's, Obviously, that's the ultimate goal for this team, this franchise, this city, is to win the championship, and that's the same for us too. We want to, we want to, we want to see that happen for this city because our fans deserve it. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as the show, you know, again, we're, I'm always going to continue to tell basketball stories, regardless if it's open gym or, um, you know, it, I, I, we're looking to like do more full length stuff as well. Um, just dive into like really specific stories mm -hmm. and, and throughout like basketball and, and even the Raptors um, history and, and next year the 25th anniversary is uh, coming up for the Raptors so there's going to be a lot of opportunities to tell some cool stories mm -hmm. um, but you know I'm always just going to try to tell stories because stories like you have to share stories regardless if it's sports stories basketball stories life stories because we all grow from from each other's stories. So being able to, to bring that to people and bring that to a uh, generation of basketball fans is is a privilege. So, you know, I'm just gonna keep going with it as, well, as long as I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think uh, with the work that you guys do, I think you can inspire a lot of kids here that aspire to either mm -hmm. play basketball or to be in that industry or to be in that sport. I think you guys are gonna inspire with what you guys do in terms of what the light that you guys have shown, the stories that you guys have shared, not just, you know, with the basketball uh, players that we have, the Toronto Raptors in general. I think it's an amazing work that you guys are doing. And yeah. I mean, I wish we had more time to kind of talk about because there's so much more that Jeff can share to us, but the episode has ended. But before we end, anything you guys would like to say, JR, before we end the show? Yeah, man, join the conversation. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Panori Crossover as well. Any last words, Jeff? Oh no, you guys keep doing what you're doing. Like I said, like stories are, are, are what like helps helps all uh, all of us grow. And and the fact that you guys are doing what you're doing, I'm I'm really proud of all the stuff that you guys do. So, um, I'm, I I got your back. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud awesome. of Jeff we, too, man. We had thank watch you, Open Jeff. Gym. Watch Open Gym. Watch Open Gym. <laughs> it's it's an amazing show, and and thank you for taking your time and coming here to share your busy stories schedule because, too. Yeah, and his busy schedule. I know he's gonna be back again, <laughs> shooting for more episodes, but. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and learned something from it because kids, basketball, Filipinos, we love basketball and this is, you know, part of our life. This is part of our culture. Mm -hmm. And other than that, guys, stay balling. <laughs>